Hello everybody, this is Langsha BJ and welcome back to another Mr. Bear Talks and in this episode guys we are going to be talking about friendship and all the stuff that comes up with it including online friendships and again IRL friends. It, it usually has to do with two things, online and IRL, so let's begin. So friends are always there unless they're not. Like those who leave are here temporarily to teach you a lesson. It's like, it's, a, it's like... Friends who stay are your actual friends, and those who want you to do better than them are your actual friends. But there's a lot of people who will be your friend, but don't want you to, like, excel after them. They're very selfish, and there's nothing you can really do about that, but you will be able to identify that kind of friend with the actions they do. But a lot of questions I've been getting about how do you deal with losing friends and stuff like that. Um, I've lost a fair share of my friends due to a lot of reasons, uh, but what I believe is they're, if they're there for a temporary moment, they're there to teach you something that is valuable. So even though you think, oh, I've I had this friend for so long and then they left, it doesn't matter because they've taught you something, even though you don't even realize it. They've taught you something and they were there for that reason and then they left after their reason was fulfilled um then there's a lot of people who do use you to go above you or try to make themselves feel bigger in the sense ignore my hair by the way i just blow dried it <laughs> so i never do that but i don't actually mind it actually but let me know um so yeah people we lose friends all the time but um my best friend longbow i've known him for my whole life that's 19 years and we're still the best of friends. He's my best, best friend. Like, no matter what, he's always going to be my best friend. And he's helped me through so much. And obviously, it was by chance I was that lucky to have a best friend like him. Uh, because I grew up with him. Literally, I'm five days older than him, funny enough. Um, but thing is, you don't know when those people exactly will come into your life. It could be someone you've known forever it could be someone you've just met it could be someone who you're just getting to know it's just hard to identify who's an actual friend and who isn't especially nowadays when people are so into backstabbing each other it's really sad uh but again that's inevitable that's how uh, we've all evolved and become it's like we do things for ourselves but a lot of people don't like longbow and uh, my other friend Fred, so many people, so many friends I have, my whole family group on Twitter, um, Rose, Alex, a lot of people, these people don't use me, I know that for a reason, because they never ask for anything, um, and then I have the Squishy and Stampy who I've known for a long time, as I've known Squishy a lot less than Stampy, but we've become very close friends, and things, like, again, as I said, you will never expect having a great friend coming into your life. Um, as for friends who don't respect what your decisions are, they're not really your friends because they are only your friends depending on what you they want to see from you. And I, don't, for me, I don't like that, so I don't usually stare on people who do that to me. So I leave, um, even though it might uh, hurt the other person. But again, it's temporary pain. They can get over it, and so can I. It, it, like don't get me wrong leaving someone hurts as well as much as the person is getting who's left is getting hurt as well both parties get terribly hurt but as I've learned from past experiences time is the best healer and it, it, it gets better life in general gets better um, as you go older because you think oh school bullies school again temporary everything is temporary <laughs> um then now online and irl friends i don't know online friends you obviously hang out more meaning you talk to them more but there's that different connection you have with people who you know in real life uh and that connection can't be replaced unless you meet that online friend outside. Um, like, 
I'm hoping to meet a few of my online friends in the next couple of months and it's gonna be very exciting like great <laughs> uh, other than that um, when it comes to IRL friends they are there they're they're there they're supportive this is my 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 friends that is I'm not sure about other people but uh, this is how most of us are raised we're raised to take care of each other look out for ourselves but obviously not to the point where we stop caring about other people like a lot of friends have left me and I've left them but doesn't mean I've stopped caring for them it doesn't mean they've stopped caring for me I don't know that obviously but I still care about the friends who have left uh, and it's something that will never leave if you've made that connection with them you felt at least you felt that connection but they obviously don't um, then I don't know what else to say uh, people ask me what do I do if my friends telling me something and I don't want to do it then don't do it don't give in to peer pressure that's something you shouldn't do your friends should respect that if they don't respect that then they're not completely your friend they're using you the thing is that you want a friend who will accept you for you don't want to change you you don't want to change them that's important that's something you don't want to do is cha try to change them you accept people for who they are and I've spoken this I've spoken about this in the first uh, Mr. Bear talks about being yourself and I think that when you be yourself you might lose a lot of people that you thought you'd be friends with but you'll find those small amount of people I don't I, again I don't believe in quantity I believe in quality of friends um, so you find that small amount of people that really really care and you care you start caring for them as well and those people are the ones you want friends uh, to be friends around and not otherwise um, a few f people I know are like oh I want more friends and I think it'll be better to have be better more more friends than just a small group and I really don't believe that there's gonna be even though you have like that large group of friends there's gonna be an emptiness of who can actually be there for you and who is just there for I don't know for any reason they could have thought um, I've had people use me I've had pe like the past two years I've been used by a lot of people and I, w I learned my lesson. I've I the thing is that for me I open up too easily, and I've literally built such a tall wall. Uh, figure figure I can't say that word, but you know speaking. Uh, but and rough patches happen with friends, especially in like even relationships, friendships. There rough patches happen. You can't really help it. <laughs> Um, there's always gonna be some disagreement or the other but what really matters is things work out and you try to fix it again not just one person tries to fix it but both because if one person is trying and one isn't then there's no point you are chasing something that's going to be endless and I've learned that recently as well I've given up a lot of people because I try they don't so I it's just a waste of time in my opinion. I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below, so make sure you comment it down below. Uh, but that's it for this topic. I'm not sure what else I can talk about friendship. If you think I missed anything, please leave it down as well, and I will continue it like in the beginning of the first ep the next episode. Uh, and also leave me a comment down below on what I should talk about next. I was planning to do rough patches um, in next one. That's like dealing with loss or uh, breakups and stuff like that, so... I hope to see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you would like me to do next. And make sure to share this video with your friends if they are having problems and if you think I might help. Because um, I started this series just to help other people. Uh, so I started with being yourself because a lot of people were asking me about that. Um, then I start, talked about bullying because a lot of people I know was getting bullied. And now I'm talking about friendships because you guys want to know what to do um, when things are rough. So, yeah, that's my opinion on it. Again, this is all opinion-based and all experience-based. You don't have to take my word for it. The thing is, uh, different situations call for different reasonings and different things altogether. Because some, not everyone's the same. You have to remember that, guys. Everyone is different. No one is the same. 
you might have similarities but you're not the same so if you think you could deal with something and someone you think that someone else can they might not be able to because they're not you so make sure to think about that when you like start an argument with your friend or something um or if you want to say something to your friend make sure to tr- put yourself in their shoes for one moment and then speak to them about whatever topic you're going to speak that might cause a conflict and if it does cause a conflict make sure to try to fix it if if both parties want to fix it otherwise um again temporary <laughs> i can't emphasize how temporary it is cuz um yeah friendships come and go guys it's life a lot of people will be people and a lot of people that actually matter will stay in your life and those that don't other temporarily to teach you a lesson depending on what the lesson could be for me it was trusting too easy i trust way too easy and i got used and i let that i learned my lesson i don't trust at all now it's so hard for me to trust someone i have to spend so much time with them and it goes on and on uh but guys i did hope you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe for some more um Mr. Bear talks as well as a lot of Minecraft and Kingdom Hearts content and make sure to share this video with your friends if they're having problems and I will see you in the next one. Take care, come again. Bye-bye.